Okay, we're live, man. All right, well, <laughs> hello, Periscope. Uh, welcome to the Duncan tour. Um, so, my name is Warnes. I'll be your guide today. Um, around us, you see here, we have the... Yes, I'm from here. Okay. So, this is the Duncan Clubhouse. Uh -huh. This is kind of the community building um, for Duncan. The office is right here, um, and we'll go up to this in a, soon, in a second. Um, this is definitely like the central building, kind of administrative building for Duncan. Mm -hmm. um, one of the great things... Let me say something, too, to yeah. our people who are following along. Yeah. If you want to, just ask a question, and I'm going to ask Will what they... Uh, I'm going to ask your question to Will, and Will's going to give me an answer, hopefully. Yes, yes. So, yeah, feel free to ask questions. I'll try to get those answered. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's begin. I think one of the, the greatest things about Duncan is the contracting process. Um, so, it's much like a, a contract would be for a dorm, like if you were contracting um, through the university on the housing website, it's the exact same thing. Um, and so you can contract um, uh, for Duncan for um, a whole so a whole year. Got a quick question for yes. you. Okay. Can you live there in the summer, Will? Yes, you can. You can definitely live here in the summer. That's a little different contracting process, but yes, you can live here in the summer. Um, no problem. It's a ten month contract. Is that right? And yes. The two month would be the summer contract. The two months would be the summer Separate. contract. Separate. Yes. And so that ten month contract can also be broken down into two semesters. So for instance, if you're a junior or senior uh, and you're gonna be graduating, say in December, um, and you're not gonna be here in the spring, you can contract for just the fall uh, and not have to worry about the spring. Um, which, or if you're studying abroad, also kind of same deal. You can contract for just one semester. Come on um, in. Yeah, come on in. Sign we, in got a, right we got a physical uh, tour starting in a moment. We're doing a digital one right now. Yes. Um, so yes, uh, that's the, the contracting process. Um, and so the other thing is we are university-owned apartments. Obviously, we are the only university-owned apartments, mm -hmm. um, which makes us the closest apartments to campus because we're literally right on campus. Um, so right now, we're going yeah. to follow me. We'll go to the fitness center. Let's go check out the fitness center. Yeah, take the elevator up there. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Will. Yes, okay. My name is uh, Will, obviously. I am an international business student. I'm a sophomore. Walton, Walton College? Yes, Walton College. Um, so I'm a sophomore here. I'm originally from Texas, like mm -hmm. half the school is, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's true. Like, I think it is the numbers. true, literally half the school. Um, yeah, so my second year here, I'm loving it. Sure. Just so you know, we're having like little weird wireless issues because we're in the elevator. Okay. But I think we're going to recover. Just okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So maybe next time we do the stairs. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so here we have the Duncan Fitness Center. Right, I'm gonna pan around and take yeah. a look at it. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Here it is. Back here we got a, a uh, two running areas there. Yeah. And what are these called? Do you know, Will? Uh, those are elliptical machines. Okay. A couple ellipticals for you. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go and give a little overview here of where our people are enjoying some Duncan Live. They're having a big time down there. Yay, okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Do we have any questions so far from our one person who's watching us right now? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have questions, send them in. Okay. Um, here's the, so yeah, this is the fitness center. Um, mm -hmm. In this space, we're looking at adding a bench press. Okay. Which would really kind of enhance uh, the flexibility uh, of the space. Mm -hmm. um, so I, was, I think this is a great space for probably like a medium light workout, especially if you're just hopping out of your apartment before class or at night before you go to bed. It's very convenient and close. Um, but if you like to, you want to go play some ball or you want to go get more of a, a heavier workout, the hyper is only about a seven minute walk. Um, so that's very convenient as well to you. So that's, what, that's all I have for the fitness center. So if you don't have any questions, we'll... Sounds good. No questions yet, but Maybe. they might come in. So it was raining earlier, Will. It was raining earlier. But now... I think it has stopped, um, which is great. Um, yes. So now if we'll stop kind of pan yeah. around this way, you'll see Harmon Parking Garage. Harmon right Parking there. right there. There it is. Um, it's, it's big. It's tall. It's very big, yes. Um, <laughs> so this All is right. where... Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Periscope. Uh, hey. 
So this is, uh, so the Harmon Pine Garage is probably where I would say most of the Duncan residents park. Mm -hmm. um, now the pass is not included in the apartment fees, but you can go up to the parking and transit office on the sixth floor of Harmon and they will give you all the information you need for a parking pass there um, for, for next year. Okay. So we'll keep going on this keep way. Keep going along. Is that a Christmas wreath? It is. Nice. And a snowman you know, some things they stay up so long they're ready again. That's right. You just kind of keep it year round. Um, another great thing about Duncan that I don't know if you'll we'll be able to see from here, but the trail kind of right there. I don't yeah. know if you can see that very well, but uh, so that trail behind Duncan actually connects directly with the Razorback Greenway Trail that runs all throughout Fayetteville. And so, Fantastic. yeah, and so if you live at Duncan, you pretty much have immediate access to the Fayetteville trails and you can get downtown, you can get to Lake Fayetteville. Can I get to um, Dixon Street? You can get to Dixon Street. Yes, you can. Dixon Street is right there. That's another good thing about Duncan is our proximity to Dixon Street and the Bar District. So if you are over 21, um, I would say this is a great place to live as far as um, Dixon Street, um, how close it is, and so you can be able to walk down there safely and walk back and not have to worry about driving or parking, which I know can be a big hazard. Um, no need for Uber. No, no need, need to for, Uber. Yes, no need to Uber. You can simply walk, and it'll probably be quicker than trying to find parking down there. So we're walking down here. Oh, that's where we're going to get our s'mores, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, good. Well, we're good. going, so right now we're going to kind of come down to the end of this uh, walkway here. So we have four people who are watching us right now. Does anybody have any questions that you want to ask? Yeah, any questions, send them in. And we'll, uh, we'll get an answer. Okay, we'll keep moving. Okay, cool. You're walking backwards for us, man. I am Appreciate walking that. backwards. Just a yeah. moment, a moment for Arkansas. I mean, I'm just, it's kind of it's kind of rainy, but it's still really nice looking. It's like, really the, nice. I like the the woodland feel yes, of the this. The woodland feel is something I really like, especially just kind of looking out from your balcony. You get to see a nice, a nice. We had a question uh, come in. Okay, you ready for it? Yes. How far is Duncan from the Home Economics Building? The Home Economics Building. Yeah, Boy. which I'm thinking that is the building on near Maple. Okay. Home. So. Okay. We are, how would we explain where we are in relation to that? So there's Dixon. Right. And then we're kind of on the other end of campus from that. Yes. I yeah. Would, yeah. So I, it's pretty much, I would say it's across campus. Right. I would say it's across it's campus too. Yeah. yeah. Which is what? I mean, that's like a 10 minute walk? Uh, 10, 15. Yeah, yeah, at the most. Depending on how fast you walk. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to come down the stairs here. Okay, so over here is where we're going. Okay. We are going to be going coming to be, down there, huh? Coming down here, yeah. We're just kind of walk down here. This is probably one of my uh, favorite um, places at Duncan. It's this outdoor living space right here. Yeah. Um, we'll kind of see when we get up there. But there's okay. a fire pit. There's a grill. Um, there's I a can little, smell it. Yes, I can smell it too. It smells good. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a like a little covered patio area. And so, you know, like during the year, we'll have like s'more nights there. Like last semester, we had a block party where we just grilled out and had music, um, and residents could just come on by kind of casually. So nice. Uh, yeah. So those are some really fun events. So uh, was it more of a uh, guitar or ukulele kind of party? Uh, you know, I would and say I don't even know what the difference is, but <laughs> I would say it's more of a ukulele kind of party. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know and what that means, but actually, and we had. Um, we actually did have some some a guy playing a ukulele out here. Nice. One time. So that was definitely a ukulele. You want to um, point out our babbling brook? Yes, we have the babbling brook right here. The Duncan Babbling Brook, which I think is great. We're on a bridge right now. We are on a bridge right now. It's a very scenic bridge, I think. It is. We're about nice. to come on over. <laughs> Crossing over. So here is the outdoor space yeah. um, that I talked about here. Kind of a covered oh, gazebo area. Making some yeah? s'mores over there. We have people? Hey. All right, let's go over and say hello. Yeah, let's go talk to these guys. Y'all making some s'mores? Making yes. some s'mores. Sorry, I'm crying. I got smoked. Great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's real. It's cinema verte. That's what we're doing very, here. Very real. Um, man, they have a nice looking fire going on right there. How are you able to keep this fire going despite the rain? That's the real. Lots of light of fluid. <laughs> really? Lots Is that? <laughs> That's, that's the remedy? That's been the recent remedy. Okay. It was actually cooking pretty well on its own earlier. It was gotcha. really hot at the gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Well, do we, do we have a stunt s'more for a Will to eat? 
Oh, yeah. Stunt smart. Oh, oh yeah. we have a stunt s'more. We need a stunt s'more. I actually tried. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you got smoke in your eyes. That's no fun. So, so for those of us for our international audience, perhaps, mm, yes. tell us what a s'more is and how it's made. Well, all right, kid. First off, s'more 101 is what I'm looking at. A half of a graham cracker. Okay. Then you spend a lot of useless time opening the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't mind, take a moment. You're RA's here, so go just take a moment to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Cade. Mm -hmm. I'm the RA of the big building right there. Uh, okay. I'm a junior mechanical engineering major. Um, I've been an RA for two years now. Yeah. I'm Hillary. I'm still crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an RA in this building back here. Uh huh. Um, and I've actually only been an RA for about two months. And I'm a senior political science and Middle East studies major. Nice, nice. Of course, we we've, we've met our tour guide Will, yes. who's told us about him. Business school, yeah. Business school. Oh, continue. I'm sorry. Yes, 101 on the scores. So, you take half a graham cracker. Uh huh. You put three sticks of Hershey's chocolate on it. Not two, not four. Not two. It's got to look like that. Okay. Then, you take the other one. <coughs> I'm coming in close. Yep. Come on in here. Get in on the action. Use the other one to squeeze your marshmallow right off. Oh, oh where's that technique? There's that technique. Slide it right out. And then you okay. just chomp down on that hey, bad boy. Do you boy. want this one? Oh, heck no. Oh. We've already had like Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> look at that. Delicious. That is a s'more. Nice and toasty. You gotta melt the chocolate. <laughs> Get it all gooey, all in the beard. All in the beard. <laughs> Just put on my beard. You gotta <laughs> Very good. Dude. All right. Nice. And I think it stands for, I looked this up, uh, some more. Some more. Yeah. Give me some more. S'more. Yeah, we've been making some more all day long. Nice. Nice. <laughs> With the puns. No puns. Oh, with the puns. All right. All right, we ready? Let's, let's keep going. Sweet. Thanks for the smoke, yeah, Kate. See you guys. All right. So that's the outdoor area. Uh huh. Do you want to? Do you want to? Great. You're gonna. You're gonna eat your. You eat your s'more as we go, if you wish. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll just kind of take. take my or you can. Or you can drop it off. Whatever. Maybe I'll take it. Oh yeah. No, you got it. Okay. All right. We'll we'll get in. We we'll get in there. All right. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um. Leaving the outdoor space. Now, I'll take a brief second to kind of explain the, um, the building layout. So if you look down on the end here, the very end building is what we call E building. That's where I live, um, the corner balcony right there. Um, this building right in front of us is D building. This is by far the biggest uh, building we have at Duncan. Um, the, the great thing about this one, it's right across the street from Harmon parking garage. Uh, and I forgot to mention, but E building is right next to the trail. It has the quickest access, which I really enjoy. Um, look over here, kind of pan over. Oh, we have another tour coming. Oh, we do. Um, looks like that is C building right there in mm -hmm. front of us. That one's a little quieter. It's a little more tucked away in the back. And then on the other side, you can't see it, but it's A building on the other side of the office uh, building that we started at. So another thing quickly is I'll uh, point out these little safety emergency po blue pole things um, that we have. These are awesome, very convenient. You can see, you'll see them over campus, all over campus. Um, but basically, uh, you know, Duncan is very safe. Um, and at living at Duncan, you do get all the like the safety amenities you would get uh, as if you were living on campus. Um, so, so that's a really, I'm gonna a really break nice off from you to just say hello. But there's a tour. Another tour. Man. Hey. Woo. Sweet. Um, yeah, so Duncan's very safe, and also, uh, so like as an RA here, um, like me and the other RAs you just met, like we'll, we walk around the buildings like twice a night, like every night of the week, just like for y'all's safety if you live here. Um, so that's pretty comforting, I think, so if, you, if you live here. So, okay, that's that. Let's move back. Uh, you know, I've walked up this hill a couple times now, and I just love this view. view. So like kind of a creep up over the, uh, the sort of trail here. Yeah. I like it. Nice. Does anybody have any questions for us? Yeah, any questions, send them in. Yeah. Now's the time. So we're about to go into a room. Yes, we're about and to look go around. into a room, look around. This is C building, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so we're going to pop 
pop into 102. 102. Uh, this is the room of one of our RAs, is that right? It is one of the, okay. the, the uh, RAs. So quickly, I'm going to point out these. Uh, What's these behind there? Right here. So this is. Oh, it's got a lock on it, so I can't have it. This is a, a storage shed. So this is pretty nice. So if you if you lived in 102 right here, you'd have access to this storage shed. Um, most people just put bikes in there. Um, or, you know, obviously you can store whatever you like in there. But it's a nice place. You don't have room in your in your apartment. You can stick something out here and put a lock on it. And, uh, how big is it? Let me see if I can how big is peek it? in yeah, there. I can try to peek in there. I mean, I would say it's... Now four by eight. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Somewhere like that. Something like that. So that's pretty nice. But now let's go into the actual apartment. All right. Okay. So here we have a Duncan Apartments. Um, Let me uh, give them a second to kind of look around. Yeah. Like in a sure. circular. Yep. All right. Let's go around. Mm -hmm. it's fully gone. furnished, right? Yes. Fully furnished. So all the furniture you're looking at right now. Um, comes with the apartment um, and even all of the appliances over here you see now on the counter um, even you got the, the microwave um, refrigerator dishwasher all that comes with the apartment um, which is pretty nice full kitchen yes which if you're kitchen. living I guess in a residence hall right now the idea of having your own full kitchen is not a bad idea right and you can have toasters here Unlike a residence hall, which I love because I like toast. So, <laughs> um, okay, so, so toast. Come to Duncan. Make yes, toast. Want toast. Yeah. So now here's a bathroom. Okay. Um, let me quickly just kind of point out we've got shower on this side, the toilets on that side. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic bathroom. Yeah. Um, I'll point out quickly that so there's two basic styles of apartments. There's first level apartments and second level apartments. So right now we're in a first level apartment. So that means we've got two bedrooms on the first floor, which we're about to go in one, and then we have one right here, and then one bathroom, and then we have two bedrooms on the second floor, uh, and another bathroom. So it's four bedrooms, two bath. Now if we were go, to go up to the second level apartment, so if we just hopped on up to 202, we'd have four bedrooms on the second floor and one bathroom. So it's four bedrooms, one bath, and then the first floor is simply the, the dining and living area that we were just in. Um, so that's kind of the difference there. So if you're looking at contracting online, definitely make sure you're picking the options that you want uh, with your roommates. Just something to, to take heed of. Thanks for explaining those configurations. Yes, yes. So here's a, a bedroom. For us, is the, I would say this is about the typical size of a, of a bedroom. If you can get a good... Get you out of the light there so we can see you better. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You're backlit a little bit. Uh, okay, yeah. So here's a typical bedroom. Let me, let me give a pan here. Yeah, and, and you again, see what's going on. Yeah, and, and again, all the furniture that you see, um, the desk, the bed, uh, the armoire, everything is included um, with the apartment. Um, so you don't have to worry about buying any, any furniture. So there's a desk and a bed, and you said this armoire? Yes. Yeah, and then this dresser? A dresser and, a, and another desk. So it's and another desk. Okay. And two desks. And per room, room, huh? Per room, yes. Um, now here's a little porch space uh, you have access to from the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a little outdoor area. You can put a couple of lawn chairs. Um, or a lot of residents have hammocks strung up. I don't know if there's any. Other. Actually, there's one literally above you yeah. as you're speaking. Perfect. So that, that's obviously great. And uh, remember that nice Arkansas view we got back there. That's the same thing we've got in front of us now. Yeah. Um, so the difference here, so I'm on a first level bedroom, so I'm going to have a porch, but say, as you can see, if I'm on a second level, I have balcony access, so it's just a little different outdoor space there. And it's like, for me, in e building, I have a balcony, and I love it just to go out there in nice weather. Like, I'll take my desk out there and do homework a lot of times if the weather's nice. So, I really like that feature. Today the weather is not terrible, but not probably al fresco. Yeah, probably wouldn't do my homework outside today. But yes, I would. Yes. So All coming right. back in. We're in the final, the final leg of the our final journey, final right? Leg of the journey. Yes, we are. Okay. So that was the apartment. Um, Any questions yeah. about the apartments? Anything? Send it in now. Okay. okay. You can always follow up with us. Um, email that you can 
Email us is uh, duncanav uart.edu. Hey, look, we're timing hey, it so well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're moving All right, on. Good, well, yeah. Okay, so we're almost done now here, but before we end, I'm going to point out um, quickly right here, if you can pan over, we got our mailboxes right here. Um, you say, Will, what's so great about mailboxes? Well, the hey, good thing. Will, what's so great about mailboxes? Yeah, well, I'm glad you asked. So, the great thing about these mailboxes is that they are on the regular mail circuit as opposed to like if you're in a dorm um, that's got to go through the post office and then has to go to the housing and all that stuff and it takes a while to get your mail sometimes as I'm sure some of you know. Um, but if you're here we're on a regular mail circuit so you get your mail uh, as soon as it's delivered which is great. And as far as packages, um, there's package parcel boxes there that if the package is small enough they'll put it in there and you can and you just get out of there. If it's too big, then they'll take you to the office and you'll get an email, much like you would at a dorm when you get a package. So that's the, that's the skinny about the mail. Hey, so, save a couple days. That's right. right. Hey, a couple days to so get your packages. That's right. Right here we've got uh, what, What's this right here? This is, this is kind of a cool little device, so if you're a big biker, um, this is definitely a cool thing. It's like a, an air pump. Yeah. And, uh, store like your um it's all like like a uh, bike yeah. here. all the tools and all yeah 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 so if you're a biker it's pretty sweet um and obviously you can store your bikes right here mm -hmm. um which is great um and then here we have uh, scooter parking um and that again you can park there with just your regular u of a scooter pass so nice. Um, that's, that's nice so we're pretty much at the end of our uh our journey. Our journey here. Before we end, though, I think I'll just point out again the best part of Duncan is our closest to campus, um, Champions Hall. We're literally looking right at it, right across the street. We got Bell Engineering, about a two-minute walk up the street there. Um, it is I, uphill, but I don't know. The grade isn't too bad. The grade right? isn't too bad. It's not like the Poffert Eliminator. Okay. Walk, okay. So it's definitely much easier than that. Um, I can get to the business building in about. Uh, about five minutes from my apartment uh, in the mornings when I have class. The union is probably about a 10 minute walk. Um, library is about the same. Um, so you can really get anywhere on campus, I would say within 10 minutes, um, which is a really good feature yeah. um, that, that I definitely enjoy. And if you jump on the bike, right? Like, Yeah, if you jump on the bike, it's even less. Even less. Even less. So that's, I think, all I have for you guys. Um, well, Will, thank you very much for showing us all of Duncan. Oh, and yes. there's our little signage that was put out. Yes. Which well, I personally think was really, really well done. I think it's great. And yeah. I can say that because I had no, I played no part in it whatsoever. All I did was get like the raw materials for the creation. The creation was done here at Duncan. That's right. But you played a part. You know, you know if I can own just a little piece That's of right. the fame that is Duncan <laughs> Live. Yes, well. But thank you very much, Will, well, for your welcome. time and for telling them. And um, if anybody has any questions and wants to follow up, uh, Duncan, A-V-E, Duncan Ave at uark.edu is a great email to follow up with us at. Yes, yes, and the website for contracting is housing.uark.edu backslash Duncan. Forward slash. Forward slash Duncan. Forward slash. Sorry, forward there you slash go. Duncan. Yes. Fantastic. Well, signing off. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye.